Welcome to episode 14 of Honky Outdoors. Tonight we're going spotlighting. Let's have some fun. He's running. He's still there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Alright, Benny. <laughs> Done. Nailed him. I don't think he nearly got shot. <sighs> Sardine in hair stew, anyone? What's hair stew like? It's pretty good, apparently. I'll do I'm it. I'm keen to try it. <laughs> Just found another hair. Smoked him. Got our three hairs. Little nice efforts. <laughs> <laughs> About half a litre of hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks good. It smells nice. It does. It smells it good. It smells better than the, the chain of bar oil doesn't smell all that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> This feels warmer than the outside. If you want a black one, there are black ones. Now they're ignored. One takes black. Ooh, oh, Christ. Messing around with that air mattress for 
too long, but this one is a bit off. That's a self inflating mattress. What we do is undo this vent, roll it out. See, that's flying out of here. I'm all in a heap of it. I've got my pillow, so I'm using jumpers. And yep, it's 1.50am. See you in the morning. Welcome to camp. 7.30 in the morning. It's going to go up earlier and go for a walk, but it couldn't be stuffed. I was up till 2 o'clock. So, this is what happens when you sleep past 8.30am at camp. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's sexy. <laughs> That is just beautiful. Fanciest camping bunny ever. I mean, you have to share it with this crazy looking spider, but... How's that for a view? Hopefully it's still somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was at least one we didn't shoot. It will be. Up in that <laughs> scrub. They'll, they'll be around. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me the States isn't multicultural. <laughs> Texas was part of Mexico for a long time, wasn't it? It was. Until they, they, they actually or something. beat out of America several times in America's attempt to take it. Like they still have, they still do, like, do the parties in Super Mario. Yep. But they. Okay, and they didn't have anywhere to go. It's like, where am I going to go? There's all these other rabbits you just. <laughs> yeah, it's not as hot as I'd like it in top five. Oh, actually, I don't like it only too much. Mostly, they like you'll get it, but they drink They don't drink soul. They drink soul, like S O L. That must be an Australian they, thing then. I think that's like the Fosters of Mexico. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Exported everybody else, they went on to drink it. Smell like algae, did it? Let's try it out. Yeah, try something. What do we got here, Hulk? Bit of hair. 
backstrap. That is delicious. Right? That is so good. You wanna yeah, try yeah. a bit, fellas? <laughs> that is like, that's like a It's so good. Mm. What do you think? That's good. I'm impressed, actually. Cheese actually goes on the bottom. Ah, oh, no. Well, oh, here you tell me what to do. Bloody hell. We've got it from a reliable it's source. The, the cheese actually, will crisp up a lot. The actual well. Mexican. Not every day you get the mate. Mexican food with the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and have them like proud at everything. <laughs> <laughs> you <doing> great now. <laughs> 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 you just. Keep, keep looking up for the, the the smile of approval, and all you get is a uh, like. Um, are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure that's a good idea? That's all right. <laughs> I'll just chuck those right there. Yeah. Here in Port Cassidy's. Here, Cassidy's. Mm. So good. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Good is it? That's so soft. <laughs> hair backstrap. <laughs> How much did you get a backstrap out of the hair? Hey. Of that, obviously. Chicken fillet. It's a fair size. Mm. It's about like mm. half a chicken breast. That is nice. Experiment raspberry tart, dark chocolate, marshmallow. Mm. Getting melted eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it smells so good, that melted dark chocolate. S'mores. King s'mores. Yeah. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> yeah, some, got some burns. Twenty-two versus Damn. triple four Marlin. <laughs> Undisputed winner. Twenty-two. 22. <laughs>
typical of a peregrine falcon. That's pretty cool, huh? Hey? Some D tracks. You say it was tight on mud. So more pig diggings down here on the edge. Fresh pig crap there. More diggings. Fresh pig tracks. Welcome to the kitchen. Today we're cooking Hank Shaw's infamous Sardinian hair stew. Sort of got a bit of a reputation after obviously the meat eater episodes. So um, I've just prepared it. I've got it cooking away here now. Um, it's pretty easy so far. It just needs time. Probably about half an hour prep work and then two and a half, three hours on the stove top and you're ready to go. This is how it's done. First thing you need to do is find the Hank Shaw website, Hunter Angler Gardener Cook. Scroll to the hair section and find Sardinian hair stew. From here you can find your ingredients list and read a bit of the backstory and how we came up with the recipe. Grab some fresh parsley from the garden. Get all your ingredients organised and ready to go. Take the four legs of the hair and well season with salt, ensuring you get it in all the hard to reach places. I used a nice flaky koshering salt. Now we take the most expensive spice on the planet, saffron, grab a decent pinch and crush it up between your fingers into a one cup of hot water. This allows it to bloom. While the meat is resting and the saffron is blooming, take the time to prepare all your ingredients so they're ready to go. Now over medium to high heat, you want to pour in your olive oil and then start browning all the parts of the hair. Once these are nicely browned, remove them from the pot and put them aside. Add your onions into the crock pot slash camp oven slash dutch oven depending on where you're from and cook until they're nicely browned. Once they're nicely browned, add in the garlic and cook for one to two minutes. Drop the heat back to low and add in all the remaining ingredients and put the lid on and let it simmer for two and a half hours. Check the stew periodically and if you feel like the fluid level is getting down too low, just top it up with hot water. After two and a half hours, the hair meat should be fall off the bone tender so just simply pull it all off the bones, fork it all apart, and then add it back into the camp oven for another half an hour. I use that half an hour to prepare some delicious creamy mashed potato to serve with it. Garnish with parsley and serve. Look, this looks yummy. Do you want to try a bit? Yeah, I'm going to try a bit. I might try at least. Yeah? Yummy. 
Do you want to try a bit of the meat? I want to pick a meat with the leaves on them. Good? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Um, it's rabbit meat. <laughs> yeah, it's from a hare. It's yummy, isn't it? Oh. Yummy? And... Look. Look at that. It's yummy with the leaves on. Sardine in here is too, a bit of mashed potato. That meat is just fall off the bone tender and it's probably one of the best game meals I've ever eaten hands down. Phenomenal. Make sure you subscribe. It smells a like button. Like this.